for the sign of Gemini, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that I use for this reading. I will have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll see what's coming up for the present time. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Gemini, in the recent past, we got the Hermit card, and it's paired with the Moon card. Now, the Hermit card, it can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire ch Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card. You could have been in the frame of mind in the recent past that you just wanted some time alone. It was important that you were not afraid to take it, even if it's even if it was just a five minute walk around the house just to clear your head. Also, um, uh, this card, it can be about trying really hard to do the right thing, but you would have needed to make sure that doing the right thing included what was right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Now, it's paired with the moon card. The moon card, you're feeling in psychic. You probably were feeling really in intuitive and, and psychic in the recent past. So it would have been important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you were not sure where it was coming from. Although not that you needed to be mistrusting, but it would have been helpful for you to realize that when you get this card, it's possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel you could, could not trust someone at that time, then you probably could not. So it was about going with your gut instincts. And if you were waiting on an answer from someone, it probably took longer than you would have liked for it to. So you had to stay patient in the recent past. Now, with these two cards paired together, it's basically saying that you could have been dealing with someone who you felt was deceptive. Uh, they weren't really saying how they truly felt or how they really felt. Or, or you could have felt like um, they were holding back. Or you could have started to hold back because you didn't trust this connection. You probably felt like you were dealing with someone who was wearing a mask. There was deception. So it looks like you took to yourself. Um, you probably spent a lot of time alone. You Maybe you withdrew from this person. Um, and you made the connection not a priority. So you, you tried to clear your mind. Maybe get rid of... Um, some baggage from the connection, or maybe just get rid of thinking so much about the person. Yeah, because you didn't trust, you didn't trust somebody that you were dealing with in the recent past. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up for the present time, which will be the third week of September. We got the world card, which is beautiful. I like the world card because it's about closure. And it's with a death card. Now, this world card, like I said, it's about completion. You worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way, so it's important not to quit because you're so close. You could feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, it's a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition. And, and far too little money. So it's important if this is the case, make sure you toot your own horn just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Now, the world card, it's with the death card. Now keep in mind this death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death because we're creatures with free will. And such things, they're not written in stone. Now, the death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. So definitely a time of deep transformation could be both internally and externally. Could be some situations, things, and maybe people that you've counted on or had gotten used to or have gotten used to. They may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. 
this transition. It can be a very difficult time for some people. The change, though, is nearly always needed. So basically, with the world card and death card showing up for uh, third week of September, just know the time is fluid, so it could be around now or it could go into October. Death card and world card. So you're closing a chapter with someone or you realize that it's time to complete the journey. It's the end of a journey with someone. Um, yeah, you're, you, a cycle is, is ending. It's time for closure. It's closing a chapter. Uh, you probably realize that you changed and your person has changed. You're both no longer who you used to be. That's why the death card is here. So you could be losing interest in this connection. This could be the same person from the recent past that you felt brought a lot of deception to the connection. Could be the same person because when uh, you hear the word recent past, that could have been a week ago, a month ago, three months ago, six months ago or more. So yeah, you're losing interest, you're changing, they're changing, and you realize that it's time for this chapter to close. A cycle has been completed. Yeah, so let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Even though that can be a challenge for a lot of people, some people have a hard time yeah, ending a cycle. Some people have a hard time realizing that, yeah, this is this chapter is over. And they cling on for forever. But um yeah, the good thing is that for your challenge, you got the will of fortune. So fortune is in your favor if you're one of those types that you cling on for dear life. You don't want to see something come to closure or finality. Uh, the will of fortune is there for your challenge. It's saying that uh, fortune is in your favor. So for most of you, Gemini's, you won't be clinging on. And if you are, you're going to have a lot of good fortune coming your way. So it's important not to cling on because you could uh, stay stuck on something that's that's no longer working, and you and you could miss out on this good fortune that's in your favor. Because the will of fortune, it is a card about reminding us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else changes. So it's about living in the now, counting your blessings, and realizing that much of life is really outside of our control, but that's even okay. You got to roll with the changes and think positive. Now, this Wheel of Fortune is with the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a very positive, healing type of energy. Um, it reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work or to our life. And that's even possible if you work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. Things are probably better in your working world when you get this card than you're realizing. Like I said, the Queen of Cups is a very positive outlook about a relationship. So you could be dealing with someone that's very nurturing and supportive of you during this time of your transformation and change in your life because you definitely going through some type of change. Like I said, you're probably no longer the person that you once were when you first met this person that you're closing out a chapter with. So you got a healing and nurturing person that's there for you. Could be someone new or someone that you already know. Um, fortune is in your favor. So just remember that. So don't stay stuck on something that's trying to close or needs to close because you could miss out on this good fortune because the will turns. So you want to jump on it while it's in your favor. Now, that's the challenge. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Fool card and the Three of Cups. Now, the Fool card, it's about newness in one form or another, some type of new beginning or just ready for a new beginning. In many ways, it indicates the purity 
open-hearted energy and innocence of a child. Children are trusting, and we know trust forms the basis of meaning for this card, if you're familiar with the full card. Now, this is usually a positive card, but there can be one thing. It's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. And that's what it looks like he's doing. He's just, he's so excited and ready to take a leap towards a new beginning or just a new journey that he's not watching where he's going. So, yeah, so that's the only thing about the full card. It's about being ready and you just want to take a leap. You could be a traveler or a risk taker or someone that you're dealing with. They might... <laughs> They might think you're the type that would run off, just run off on them. But anyway, for most of you, this is about you ready to take a leap of faith towards something new. Now, it's with the Three of Cups, which is a card about reunions. I know um, a lot of you don't want to hear this, but the Three of Cups can mean a long lost love could be returning. Someone from the past. Okay, I said it. I know a lot of you don't want to hear that word. Somebody from the past. But a lot of you do. So a lot of you are excited to see this Three of Cups. But I'm going to give you another storyline for those of you who just don't want to hear about someone returning. Okay, so the Three of Cups. It's considered to be a card of reunions. But it doesn't have to be a romantic reunion. It can be a reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for a long time. Now, this is considered to be a happy reunion, very upbeat. It can mean some type of celebration, your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating a new baby or wedding or some type of really happy occasion. So Gemini, with these two cards paired together for your outcome, like I said, for most of you, somebody's returning. And it, it, I don't think it's this person you're trying to close a chapter with. I don't think so. Anything is possible, so it could be. And it looks like you're ready to just jump right on in there. Or it could be someone from the past, someone else that you knew. Or it could be just you're celebrating life, okay? And um, you're celebrating some type of happy um, event, maybe a new baby, a new wedding, uh, some type of happy occasion, or you, you met up with someone that's been away from you for a long time, okay? So you got some great, happy come together. You'll be rejoicing. You'll be really happy. And you're just going to feel like just jumping right in there. And it's going to lead to some great new beginning. A friendship, celebration, some type of circle of support. Yeah, you're ready to take a leap. So for most of you, you're closing that chapter. You got someone that or something that's been away for a long time that's about to return. And it's going to be a good thing. And you're ready to just jump right on in there. So, Gemini, that's the reading that I have for you today. I don't, you can probably believe it if you've been listening to my, my readings lately. My sound system is off. So I think I got this one right. I did something different to my, my recording device that I dropped a few weeks ago. So I hope you can hear me better. If not, please put on some headphones. I am working on getting a new sound system. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for, for, watching, for watching and listening. Um, yeah, I hope all of you do, are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season that we're having. Just hang in there. It will pass. We'll all get through this. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading.